rub it on my skin. I'm just gonna exfoliate my skin and oh my goodness, this is already tightening my skin. This is already drying on my skin. I can feel this mask working on my skin already. video if you're wondering what I am using on my skin I'm actually applying a facial mask this is an homemade facial mask that I made in my kitchen using all natural ingredient now I use this facial mask a lot on my skin since it's how to lighten and brighten my skin and also clear my skin of hyperpigmentation I use this facial mask about two to three times per week and I notice that my skin look amazing okay for my age my skin is looking amazing and that's all because of these amazing remedies that I use on my skin so this particular facial mask I just went in the kitchen and I was looking for something since my skin has been looking a little dull and I found me some tomatoes so what I did I take that tomato and I actually whip it up with some other ingredient and create this amazing facial mask so if you want to see how I make this facial mask Follow me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip it up in no time. So today we're going to be using yogurt and I'm using plain unsweetened yogurt. Yogurt is amazing for the skin. It will help to brighten and lighten that skin. It will also help to get rid of dead skin cells from the surface of the skin. If you do not have yogurt, a good substitute is milk. Milk is also amazing and it contains basically the same properties of the yogurt. Now I'm going to use one tablespoon of the yogurt and what I'm going to do, I'm going to wake the yogurt up. You might be wondering, does yogurt really sleep? And yes, it sleep. The live active culture is what we're waking up. So just wake it up by mixing. Now we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna introduce the next ingredient. Our next ingredient is lemon. And my lemon look a little upside today because I take the zest off one end, but it's still a very good lemon to use. So I'm gonna cut my lemon in two half, and as I told you, really, really fresh and still a good lemon. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna extract the lemon juice. Now lemon is loaded with vitamin C, which will also help to lighten and brighten the skin and clear the skin of grease and dirt. If you have oily skin, lemon is amazing to use on the skin. So I'm going to use about a half of a teaspoon of the fresh lemon juice. Now if you do not have lemon and you have lime or even some grapefruit, you can use it to substitute the lemon. If you have sensitive skin, you can use a little less, use about two to three drops of the fresh lemon juice instead. And now we're going to mix our yogurt and our lemon and we're going to mix and we're going to mix well. And now once this is done, look at this. This is very, very creamy. And this is exactly how you want it to be. If you're using lemon, put it in a blender and blend it because whisking might not actually get it to a smooth texture. Now once this is done, we're moving on to our next ingredient which is tomato and I like to use tomato on my skin I like to use it as a facial mask and I also like to use it as a facial scrub this is one ingredient that not only can lighten and brighten the skin but it also can clear hyperpigmentation from the skin if you have a dark neck elbows knees rubbing the tomato with some sugar is gonna clear it up like really really quick so what I'm going to do with the tomato, I'm going to chop it in small pieces for easier blending. If you do not have a blender, you can choose to grate the tomato or you can even choose to pound on the tomato and then squeeze it out in a cheesecloth. Now once we're done with the blending, take a look at this. Here we have our blended tomato. And now guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the ingredients together. So I'm gonna use about two teaspoons of the tomato puree. I'm adding this to the lemon and the yogurt, and I'm gonna mix, and I'm gonna mix well. 
Make sure to fully blend this tomato into the yogurt. Now once this is finished blending, I'm going to reach for another ingredient that is also amazing for the skin and this is honey. Honey will help to hydrate the skin but another thing that I like about the honey is that it will help to tighten and firm the skin. A good substitute for honey is aloe vera gel. You can choose to use the fresh aloe vera gel or you can choose to use the store-bought aloe vera gel. Now when I use honey on my skin, it normally leaves my skin with a fresh natural glow. So definitely use up your honey in your homemade remedy. You can use honey on your skin as a standalone facial mask or you can mix it with other ingredients like I'm doing here. So now guys, we're going to use a half a teaspoon of honey and we're going to pour it in our mixture here and we are going to mix and mix well. Make sure to properly blend the honey because honey tends to be a little thick so you want to mix for about a minute or so to completely dissolve the honey in the yogurt and lemon tomato mixture. Now guys take a look at this this is what it should look like and we're going to move on to the final ingredient. Now this ingredient will have to tighten and firm the skin. We're talking about cornstarch. Now guys if you do not have cornstarch you can choose to use some fuller's earth any form of a clay. You can use some wheat flour. You can even blend some oatmeal to replace the cornstarch. However what I like about the cornstarch is that when you use the cornstarch to make the facial mask along with these other ingredients it not only tighten and firm the skin clear the skin of hyperpigmentation but it leave a very soft a velvety feel to the skin or very smooth to the touch and that is what I like really give your skin a natural beautiful glow so I'm using one tablespoon of the cornstarch I'm gonna place it in the blender along with the other ingredients and I'm gonna mix you can even choose to pour this back in the blender so that it come out really really smooth and really creamy. So keep blending until you get rid of all the lumps. And now let's pour this in a storage container and I like to use small jars for this. However, if you do not have a small jar, you can leave it in your mixing container. Just find something to put it in with a tight cover and make sure that it is clean. Now take a look at this guy. Here we have our facial mask. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to show you how to use this on your skin for best result. You can store this in your refrigerator for about seven days and this is best used at least two to three times per week. So don't go away. Let me show you how to apply it to your skin. So now that we apply result. the facial mask on the skin, guys, what you're going to do, you are going to sit with this mask on your skin for at least 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you want to rinse off. The mask is going to dry on the skin, so wait for it to dry. While it is drying, you're going to feel a tightening sensation on the skin. Not to worry, that is the mask doing its job. So just use this mask as often as you wish. Let me show you a little trick to this, guys. When you're applying this mask on your skin before it gets really, really gooey, just rub it on your skin like this in circular motion especially areas on your face where you tend to have dark spots and blemishes so just pay special attention to those areas if you have wrinkles on your forehead just rub it in as if you're exfoliating your skin and then you just leave it on for the 30 minutes this is best rinse with cold water and that is gonna further wake your skin up when you rinse off and pat dry just apply your favorite beauty products to your skin and you're on your way to younger fresher amazing looking skin guys this is one way of me keeping my skin at my age looking amazing using all natural ingredients so there you have it give the remedy a try use it for a couple of weeks and then come back and leave a comment thank you all for watching and if you want to see more of these amazing videos then you need to subscribe to subscribe is pretty easy you look below you see the word subscribe you just click on it 
it and you will be subscribed also at the side of the word subscribe is a little bell if you click on that you will get a notification as soon as I upload a video also guys I'm gonna start to do some post notification shout out so start commenting on the video and use the hashtag post notification gang okay so look out for that coming soon we have a lot of amazing things coming up on the channel thank you all and I'll see you and oh one more thing you just watched this video I'm sure you want to see more so wait for the end of the video we're gonna have some more suggestion for you to watch click on any of those link and you are on your way to seeing another amazing remedy bye bye